Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the 5V bracelet. This design was made by Deborah Taima, and she posted up a picture on Facebook describing how to make this, and she said someone record a tutorial, so I volunteered. I did switch up the beginning and the ending because I did think it could be a lot cleaner. And this is what I came up with. Thank Deborah Timer for submitting this design to Rainbow Loom's Facebook. So, let's get started. Okay, so to set up your loom, you are going to need two bar pins, a large base, and a small base. And the first thing you want to do is grab your first bar pin. And I'm right-handed, so this bar pin is going to have arrows pointing towards the right and I'm going to take it and put it in that center row on that large base as far to the left as possible and push down to secure it okay then I'm going to grab my other bar pin but this one is going to face in the opposite direction so the arrows are pointing towards the left and again I'm going to put it as far to the left as possible and then push down and secure it. Then I'm going to take this small base and put it as far to the right as possible, push down and secure it. So if you did it right, the bar pins are going to be perfectly aligned, meaning that you can take your hook and do one of these. Okay, so for this 5V bracelet, we are going to be using 10 pegs, so five on the bottom, five on the top, you want to make sure that the pegs that you're using fall within the gap of the two bases. All right. So now that you have your loom set up, you want to pick your colors. I'm going to be doing the same exact color scheme, except instead of black, I'm going to be using gold. So what you want to do at this point is grab the bands that are going to be these right here. So mine are going to be gold. Grab two golds and then you want to place them in the center two pegs of the ten pegs you'll be using. So these are the ten pegs I'll be using. I'm going to place them on these two pegs, but I'm going to put them on as an eight. Okay, so that's two bands infinity shaped. And push down and then now you want to grab another gold and cap it and then place it on top of that eight or eights okay now once you do that again push down and then grab another two golds but this time they're not capped they're just normal and you're placing them on top so if you look inside, you'll see there's two eights that are on the bottom, one cap band in the center, and two regular bands on the top. And at this point, you want to grab your hook. You want to grab just those two bottom that are eights. So these two bands right here. Bring it up into the center. Just like that, and go to the other side and grab the other ends of those eights. So, right there, bring it up and over. Okay, now what you want to do is pull on one of those normal bands, not the cap bands, the two normal bands on the top. I'm starting with the top band and I am going to pull it up and then pull it onto these two pegs just like this. Okay? Then I want to go on this side and grab the other end of that same exact band right here. Pull it off the peg and pull it over these two pegs right here. OK? 
Okay, it's going to get really tense. Alright, now I'm going to go on to the second normal band. So, whichever band is on top, it's the normal one. You want to do the same exact thing, but a mirror image onto this side. So, I'm going to grab the top band over here. Okay, pull it off that peg and pull it around this peg and this peg as well, just like that. And then I'm going to go on the other side and grab just that one single band on top over here and do the same exact thing. Pull it and bring it up just like that but we're still not done because at this point what you want to do is twist all of these bands and create an eight right here so starting with this one I'm gonna pull this off again and then bring it down use this edge of this peg to kind of loop it and create that X in the center let go this is probably going to be the hardest part because the band do tend to get extremely tense and you see how I rotated it that way on this one I'm going to rotate this way just because I'm perfectionist and I want everything to be symmetric so I'm going to grab this end pull it off again Use the top edge of this peg and start rotating counterclockwise with my hook to create that X. Okay, now we're going to go on to the other side and do the same exact thing. So again, grab this off, rotate counterclockwise, take this one off rotate clockwise okay now when you do that you can push down okay so now I'm gonna start using my inside colors so my inside colors of this bracelet are gonna be white black and gray and it's best to use three colors. I find it to be the easiest way to keep track. I'm going to start off with black. And what you want to do is on these center three pegs, you kind of want to create a boomerang shape. So it could start off as a triangle, just like that. But then you want to bring this one down. Okay? So that's a boomerang shape. Okay, once you do that, you want to grab your next color and do the same exact thing, but invert it. So, again, there's that triangle, but you want to bring this inside, just like that. Okay, so the next band that we want to put on is one of these. And this is basically two bands that are slip knotted together. Um, the way that I do it is I take two bands, okay, I have one, I'm going to put the one on the right on top, hold on to it, then I'm going to take my hook and go in front of the right end of the right band and then go behind the right end of that left band, as you can see my hook is pointing forward. Then I'm going to grab the left end of that right band, pull it, rotate it a little bit, and then pull out, just like that. And pull on it kind of hard so that knot tightens, okay? And that's basically two bands that are slip knotted together. All right, now I want to take this band and that to my bracelet 
and I want to connect one end to these two pegs and the other end to these two pegs. So just like this and then grab it and put the other end on that peg and kind of bring it down just like that. And then pinch them in so they're inside these pegs right here. Okay, so we're going to push down and again we're going to do the same exact thing. Put two boomerangs and then one bow tie. Alright, so it might be easier for you to set up a whole bunch of these bow ties in advance. Okay, so now you want to grab your next color that's in the center. Mine's going to be white. And then I'm going to create another boomerang. So as you can see, this gray boomerang is on the bottom. And the next boomerang you want to put on is just like that. Then you want to grab your next color, which is the same as that bottom boomerang, gray. And create a boomerang on the top, just like that. And then you want to grab one of your bow ties that you set up in advance and over these two pegs, stretch it out and put it over these two pegs and pinch here and pinch here. Okay, and now we are ready to begin looping. So it's very important that you keep order with all of these because if you mess up the order it will not look right so as you can see you might want to make a habit of going in and reorganizing everything if you see anything's not parallel that means they're overlapping and you have to fix it before it becomes a bigger problem all right so at this point just like a hexafish you just want to go on to every single peg and just bring up that bottom band up and over. So this bottom band right here, you wanna bring up and over. This bottom band right here, this is that cap band that we put on, so you're actually grabbing two ends, bring it up and over. This bottom band here, up and over, this bottom band here, up and over, and then we're going to turn the loom around, and again do that with all five pegs on this side. So there's one, there's two, okay, this is the cat band right here. three, four, five, and then push down, and again it's going to start getting really repetitive. Alright, so what you want to do here is turn the loom around so we can put our first boomerang right here. The reason why I choose three center colors is because when I'm putting the boomerang on, as you can see, the boomerang that I would put on next would go like this. And I know that because it's the second band down. That top boomerang is this gray, which means I have to place the next band in alternating order, which is this band right here. And I see a gray and a white, which means I'm missing black on this one. So black is going to be the next in the sequence. And I'm putting this boomerang. And on this side, you see black and gray, so you know white's missing on there. So, by process of elimination, you can figure out which band you want to put on next based on what's on the peg. So, I find three is the best way to go if this is your first design. 
later on if you want to be bold and use other com color combinations you can okay so then the bow tie so it's basically this sequence going over and over all right as you see I put the boomerang, then another boomerang, and then the bow tie. And again, it's just going in there, grabbing that bottom band, bringing it up and over, kind of like a 10 point hexafish or fishtail. Can't call it a 10 point fishtail because that would make it a deca fish. But this is not a hexafish, so I decided to call it 5Vs. See, right there, this should be on top. That would have caused the problem. I'm going to grab that bottom band and bring it up, and then push down. Definitely very important to push down. Okay, next, turn the loom around. You'll see the bottom one is the black, the top boomerang is white, so we want to put this boomerang on first. And by process of elimination, you see white and black. So next is going to be gray. Just like that. This is gray and white. So by process of elimination, <coughs> you know the next one's going to be black. Just like that. Push down. And next bow tie. Again, just the bottom band. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. Turn the loom around. Again, bring up all the bottoms. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, and the last one. Okay, so push down, turn the loom around. Next color is going to be white. Because I have a black and gray, so white's not on there. So this is basically the same sequence over and over until it starts pulling out and you see that it's the desired length you want it to be. So you can see I see white and black, so it has to be gray. And then the bow tie. Pinch, pinch. And then again, bring up the bottom band on each peg. Two. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four. 
Okay, again, push down. Turn the loom around. And I'm just going to go a little bit faster because you'll see it takes about as much time as the name bracelet. Okay, and I'm going to do this for another five steps in real time before I start fast forwarding and then I'm going to fade towards the end. There's one. There's a black and white on this peg. So I'm going to choose a gray. Create that boomerang. There's a gray and white. So I'm going to choose a black. Use two pegs, two these two pegs, pinch here, pinch here, bottoms on all ten pegs. Okay, push down, turn it around, gray and black, so it's going to be a white, white and black, so it's going to be a gray, Bow tie. Pinch, pinch. Okay, bring up all ten bottom bands. One, two, three. Push that. Turn the loom around. Second leg. Gray and white is there, so black. Hook on the top. Black and gray is there, so it'll be white. Okay. And grab a bow tie. here and pinch here and then the bottom bands.
Okay, so that was my fifth one. So now I'm just going to start speeding up. You can fast forward to this time, and that will bring you to the. So this is going to be the last one that I'm doing. As you can see, it's really fat right now, but just like most fishtails, we're going to pull it really hard and you'll see it thin out. So these gaps right here, this one gap here, this gap here, and this gap here is going to disappear and it's going to stretch out and thin out. <clears throat> so that is my second to last band. Actually, I'm going to do two more, because I have two more bow ties. Pinch, pinch. Okay, and this is going to be the last set of bands that I'm putting on. Pinch, pinch. Alright. One, two, three, four. Five, turn it around, one, two, three, four, five, push down. 
Okay. So, at this point, there's two bands on each peg. You still want to bring up that bottom band on each one of these pegs. So, again, going around. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the loom around. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> okay, now what you want to do is bring these outside bands, these four, into these second set and fourth set of pegs. So I'm going to bring this one peg in, this gold. Be very careful here because these bands might want to slip out. And I'm going to grab this peg, this band, and bring it around this peg. Okay. I'm going to do the same here. Again, it might be smart to make sure it's pushed down, that way, there's space. Grab this band. Pull it off. And put it on this peg. Grab this band. And put it on this peg. Okay. Now what you want to do is, from inside this gold, you want to grab this silver on the bottom and bring it up here, then go diagonally across and go inside this gold and grab that white and bring it here. So, I'm going inside this gold, grabbing that silver from the bottom, pulling it out, Rotating it and putting it on top of this peg. Okay. And then again, I'm going to turn my loom around. This is diagonally across from that band that I just pulled up. I'm going inside this gold. Let me just organize first. Make sure the gold's on top. Okay. I'm going inside this gold. Grabbing that white from underneath. Pulling it off, and then I'm going to go bring this up and over this center bottom peg. Okay? And now I'm going to do the same thing with this peg and this peg. Go inside that gold over here, grab that white band from underneath, bring it around those corners. Rotate it and bring it up and over this peg. And then I want to turn the loom around and diagonally uh, across. I want to go inside this gold, grab that silver, pull it out, get around those corners, rotate, and bring this band over the center peg just like that okay now push down and again you want to grab one band on your outside color so that's going to be gold for me and you want to cap it just like that and you want to put it on top of these two center pegs just like that and at this point you want to grab all three of these bottom bands that are under this cap gold we just put on and bring them up and over just like this and turn your loom around and do the same exact thing with this side so let me just pull these down make sure 
only the gold is on top. Okay, grab those three, bring it up and over. Okay, and at this point you can actually pull off all of these golds because they're being held together by these bands that we bought to the center. Okay, and now we're just making a small little extension of capped golds. So again, grab another gold, cap it, place it on top of these two pegs, just like that, and bring up those two bottom golds, up and over, turn your room around, bottom two, up and over, push down, another gold, cap it, put it over these two pegs, bring the bottom two up and over, turn the loom around, bring the bottom two up and over, and now you want to bring up these two ends right here up and onto this peg. So I'm going to push down, okay, maybe hold your finger here, grab these two ends, pull it off very carefully, make sure you're rotating your hook, and use the top of that peg. Get those two bands over, okay. Turn your loom around and you'll see all four ends of that cap band over here. At this point, you want to grab a C-clip. And where you can push down. Okay? Once you're sure that you have all four ends, you can pull it off. and then pull it out through the other side of the room. Gently. And as you can see right now, it's still fat. It hasn't been thinned out. If you pull on it really hard, this is my favorite part. on it really hard and you'll see this bracelet definitely thins out And there you have it. That is the finished 5V bracelet. And you just want to clip the other side.